Hello YouTube and welcome to frame four in my best of seven match with Phil. Uh, this is for our Challenge Cup at the Surrey Snooker Academy. Uh, as you can see, three, uh, yeah, put my teeth in. Phil is three points in front with the handicap, so he's on 12 and I'm on nine. So not too much of a difference. So I'm one frame away from victory, but which way are we gonna go? So I can't do a great deal with that black. Always knew I was going to brush against the red. Thankfully it didn't drop. But no pot available, so let's just play up behind the brown. So a few shots have been cut out there, and I've been left with an opportunity of this red. Uh, it's lower of the blue line, so... I was just trying to stun that one in and play for the pink and then the the red oh god that was terrible the uh, lower red of the three that's on the right but um, I put a trace of right hand side on it and it had gone completely wrong for the pink and I absolutely murdered the blue and now the table looks horrific Right, let's see if we can do something here. And yeah, I caught the first red a little bit, a little bit thin, and then took took a bit of a flick off that second red as well. I mean, the, the end result is the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. Although I didn't get the snooker, it's probably better then because there's a straight path down into the reds, but there's no way of getting out again. So feel trying to roll dead weight into them. Left me this double, which I knew I was going to be leaving balls if I missed it, but thankfully that went in. And played for a choice of two reds there, the one that I'm about to play, and also the one that's two to the left of the black. But, yeah, so I was on that one, managing to, managing to open up the pack. And I was using a bit of right hand side there to try and keep the white close to the red. So I've got, I think that's probably why I uh, missed the pink by misjudging the angle. So it's, that one was actually closer to the cushion than it may have appeared on the uh, on this camera. That wasn't wasn't particularly easy. Now this one, I'm trying to play this, the red that's in the middle on its own. I'm trying to play off of that one and then go behind the pink. But as you can see by my reaction, either I've put some side on it and the white's rolled off or the table's rolled off, which I don't think, or it's hit a fingerprint or something, but whatever happened, I fouled. So I miss calculation there from Phil put the white back down amongst the reds but there's no pots available so just try and get back up somewhere behind the brown and uh, containing safety but there is the option this red below the black if I can control this shot nicely, I will do that. And knock the red away from the black and stay on it. So nice and gentle, on and off the top cushion. For a choice of reds, either this one or the one that was closest to the pocket. Now, now play for the one that's closest to the pocket and just sort of stun this black in. But let's all have a laugh at me for missing <laughs> what was essentially a particularly easy shot. Nice 
cut back there from Phil. And that was a very, very well thought out fluke slash plant, so well done. Now the red that's to the right is the one I'm playing. I just caught the the one that was in front of it, so that might have been me <clears throat> not actually being able to get to the potting angle, or it might have been me miscalculating, but there we go, I missed it. Now, I know all the colours are relatively safe, but this being the only red potable, if I can stick this one in the middle, it's the only ball that I can leave. Thankfully, I've got it, and it leaves me with a double on the black. If I had missed it, it wouldn't have left too many options of pots and safety. So, see if I can get this double. Or fluke or treble. Apologies. Yes, perhaps if I'd have played that one softer, I might have been able to get that one, but I was trying to get out for the black in a... Uh, no, actually, no, I wasn't trying to get out for the black. I was trying to get out for the yellow, because the black doesn't go past. So, Phil swerving around the black there to get the yellow. Well done. Almost tucking me right up behind the yellow. That could have been a lot of uh, could have been in a lot of trouble there. And my one, I just got too close to the jaw, so I've messed that one up completely. Now my thoughts here with this safety shot is punch the red round the table and leave the white next to the green, which I'd managed to do, but I also, in doing that, didn't take into account the second red, and the first one's hit it, and I am now gonna be in a world of trouble, because this is a nice, easy roll-up snooker. But yes, my initial safety shot, I was trying to avoid leaving that option. So, oh, no. <laughs> Put a bit of unwanted right hand side on that one, so miss that one by a country mile. So Phil's putting the balls back. And maybe a touch of unwanted left hand side on that one. That's uh, another four points away. I'm trying to hit this one half ball and send the white back down the table like that. So I just wanted to get a bit of distance between between the balls. But there's now a chance of me sneaking this one in the middle pocket. And coming down for the black now, I've stupidly ended up, as you can see, dead straight on that. So there was no way I was going to even attempt to play to get on that red just uh, take the extra seven points and try and play safe and get somewhere behind the pink the blue is a bit too much of an ask okay Phil missed that one and we proceeded to play around with this red for um, probably the better part of ten minutes trying to get safety shots and whatnot so my attempt at getting in behind the pink and the red below the middle pocket has gone very much wrong. Using the bump of the middle pocket to good advantage there.
blue thought about dropping, or rather thought about staying out. But it has dropped, so only the only the six points between us going into the colours. Which is kind of a, a race to I would say pot the yellow, but don't I don't know if I want to pot the yellow or not because of where the green is in relation to the brown. I kind of want to keep it safe. But I catch that one way too well. Do you know what? I can't even think about what I. What I did wrong there, I just know that I've done it wrong and I've left a perfect angle for Phil to pop the yellow and get into those balls, which he has duly done. So that's a very, very good, well played developing shot. Just a little bit too far away with the green. Now I'm playing this with one with loads of right hand side to try and keep the white as close to the brown as possible. I really didn't fancy going all the way around the table. So as long as I get this one thin enough, I'll be up on the blue. Uh, come on, brown. Oh, another one of those. Right, I am playing that shot. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't playing to pot it off the black. I was playing to double it. And believe it or not, I was actually playing to pot that blue. I did not. Did not mean to miss that one. Very poor miss. I think I was uh, thinking of the pink too much on that one. trying to keep the blue safe. I've left a bit of a teaser with this one. Might even be an angle to get the pink off the cushion with this. Now, hold your head together. Make sure the blue is sort of a fair, fairly straight, but let's just see if I can pop this on and off the cushion and come down the table a little bit for the pink. No attempt at getting on the black there. Just make sure the pink, make sure the match um, I think it would be fair to say that 4-0 is a little bit of a kind result on paper for, for me because I do think that a couple of those frames at least could have gone either way with uh, Phil's snookering ability and my lack of ability of getting out of them. Uh, it was just his potting that let him down today unfortunately and that was by his own admission as well so but thank you very much for the game Phil um, very nice to have met you and played you for the first time and good luck with your league campaign and on to dare I say it the semi-finals for myself um, so yeah I will see you guys very soon with either my next league game or cup game but for now thank you for joining me and take care